Hi, Audacious Church. My name's Rob, and this is today's devotion, and it's about my community. Like many of you, I am a member of lots of different communities, often filled with different people. I have my neighbourhood where I live at home amongst my neighbours. I have my work community where I come to, to go to work and work alongside lots of individuals for the business that I'm employed by. And then obviously we've got my church community, at Audacious Church. And I wanted to share a story with you from my work community. Um, I w- I've worked in lots of different businesses and wherever I work, I often am, am mindful of the verse in Colossians 3, 23 and 24. And it says this, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ that you are serving. Now, I kind of think about that and kind of meditate on that as I'm going to work, often in the car on my way to the office. And I really want to make sure that I'm representing God in my workplace as best as I possibly can. And that's in the language that I use when I'm kind of with my colleagues. It's how I behave and act. And that's really important to me. I spend a lot of time with my work colleagues and I want to reflect God as best I possibly can in that environment. Um, and I've had some really great conversations with with my colleagues, um, particularly with my former CEO, who I used to travel travel a lot with all around the world. And obviously, when you're traveling with somebody, you kind of spend time with them on an airplane or in uh, airport lounges. And, you know, I was passionate about my faith. I shared with him about kind of you know who Jesus is to me um, and who he is to, to my to my boss as well. And about church and all the amazing things that kind of are happening in Audacious. And he used to ask me questions from time to time and I would often let him invite you know, me to have that conversation rather than the other way around. Um, and one afternoon when we were both in the office, he wandered over from his office. I was sat in our breakout area just doing a bit of work on my laptop and he came over and he just stood next to me and he said, Rob, I just want you to know that I've bought a Bible and I'm, I'm going to read it. And I said, oh, wow, that, that's amazing. And he said, yeah, I just wanted to let, let you know that that's something that I've, that I've done. So I've not got any questions at the moment, but if I do, I'll, I'll come and find you. And I thought, wow. And he wandered off. He wandered off back into his office. And I just kind of sat there going, oh, my goodness, that is amazing. That is absolute answer to prayer. Um, and I just thanked God for that exchange. And I thank God that, you know, my, my, my boss had bought a Bible and was and was preparing to read it, which I thought was was, was phenomenal. Um, and over the kind of coming months and the, the years, he kind of read bits of it and asked me lots of questions and our relationship got closer. It kind of, you know, went from, I guess, an employee boss relationship to one of kind of talking about all these elements and aspects that he'd read um, in the Bible and it ultimately became a friendship. And I've since left that business, uh, but I've still got a really close relationship with him. And we still kind of, you know, talk and, and message from time to time. Um, and I just think, you know, as we... As we go about our days, whether that be in our neighbourhoods, whether that be our workplaces, our schools, our colleges um, or at church, you know, we've got a duty and a, and a calling to live the, the life that God has called us to live in those places and to reflect and shine as bright as we possibly can. And I just wanted to share this and to encourage you to kind of, you know, dwell upon and pray upon Colossians 3, 23 and 24 today as you listen to this devotion and, and I've, I've read the kind of the, the written part of it. Um, and I just wanted to, to encourage you that, you know, you may not see any kind of fruit from that um, in a short period of time. But I know that as we lead these lives, people are watching, our colleagues are watching, our school mates are watching, our college mates are watching, the people in our communities are watching us and observing. And that does have an impact. It does reflect who God is. And I wanted to, to leave you with uh, my favourite question from my, from my former CEO. He wandered over to me one afternoon and he just said, Rob, what about Noah? And that started a whole other conversation. Thanks so much for watching this devotion. Take care.